Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy Prioxis and I'm back with another video now. A subscriber actually asked me to make a how to use cruise video. Now, I believe I have one or two, but uh, this will just be a more so up-to-date one. Now, I'm gonna run through his perks. I'm not gonna go through every stat because that kind of takes too long, but for the most part, guys, you do see he has Untouchable, Marathoner, Skirmisher, Predator, Pay to Miss. If you wanna read each and every one of those individually, you'd be my guest, brother, or sister. All right, so you look at the stand up and you see the things that stand out head movement, footwork, switch stance, takedown defense, right? Those are the things that stand out the most, especially the head movement, especially the footwork, and then the switch stance as well. Okay, his grappling stats he has very good takedowns, very good top control, bottom control is fine, submissions aren't that great, and you guys see submission defense, yada yada yada. Then we go over to his health stats. Now, he has amazing cardio. His chin is meh. The body is 91. The legs is his weakness, and recovery is going to be a 94. His top moves, as you see here, is the boxing combinations, the level 4 jab, Muay Thai combinations, and then wrestling single and wrestling double legs are both four stars. All right? So, I want to tell you guys like this. When you're using Dominic Cruz, you want to use him, and mainly, he's one of those guys that can assert a dominance or he's better at you than this especially in this division and uh, at the end of the video i actually break down using you know going against other fighters in this division because in this specific video i am going against a cody no love guard brand but when you're using dominant cruz he isn't one of those fighters that okay i have very good boxing i can outbox this guy i have very good kickboxing i can out kickboxing he has good wrestling but if somebody that's good on the ground or good denying takedowns can negate that so you really want to use Cruz to your opponent's weaknesses. Now, again, I'll speak on that at the end of the video. So you can learn a thing or two there. But I do hope you guys enjoyed this video and you learned a thing or two. And if you do, it really helps out the channel. You guys hit the like button for me, man. If you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe up. Turn the notification, guys. Enjoy the video. All right, here we go. Going against a Cody No Love Garbrandt. Now, we ask ourselves, what is Cody No Love Garbrandt good at? The obvious thing is his boxing. But what else? Footwork. He has very good footwork. Okay. What is his weaknesses? His chin. So, with that being said, when we're using Cruz in this matchup, we want, obviously, we can wrestle. Obviously, we can take him down. But if we can, you know, try to, and this is match fighter versus fighter. This isn't, um, this isn't one of those, oh, what my opponent is doing. This is the fighter versus the fighter. The stats, right? Okay, and we know Cody no, uh, I can't talk. Cody No Love Garbrandt has very, very good boxing. Okay, but his chin, he doesn't have a good chin, but the problem is I don't have a lot of power to take advantage of his bad chin stat. So the best thing I can do is this right here. Okay, he did not that takedown, and that's fine. But if we can do a lot of damage to his chin on the ground on the feet it'll be much easier for us and you'll see what i'm talking about because if he's on the ground right what can he not do he can't do damage to my chin if he's off his back right unless he gets me in a rubber guard but i don't think cody garbrandt has no damn rubber guard okay i tried to, i don't know why it ankle picked it should have just i tried to sh uh shoot and then turn the take down so that's two takedowns he's denied. Notice how I'm not trading with this Cody Garbrandt much. Because I, I know what Cody Garbrandt is capable of. Boom. Here we go with the takedown. We get a rock into a takedown. Now, we want to land damage to Cody Garbrandt's chin. If we can, it makes the fight easier. Boom. That's denied. This gives us maybe three or four elbows. More than that. Right? Denied that. That gives the opportunity to land more. Boom. 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 Okay. What is he going to do? Think all these elbows were landing in side control. Remember, this is a Division 20 opponent. Boom, he denies that. Okay, cool. And even though he denied that, think about the elbows we landed. And then think about how much damage. How much damage we get to uh, half guard. Okay. Back to side control. And I know a lot of you guys can be like, oh, you're just spamming side control. Side control is a position where you can do a lot of damage. Let's see if we can give us the backside. Okay. Now let's try to posture up here and just rain down strikes. Boom. He reverses the position. Now, right now, we are very inefficient with our stamina. We have a lot of stamina missing. But I'm okay with our stamina that we're at because I'm, I'm 
satisfied with how much damage we've done to Car Cody Garbage in. Now, we're here. Look at my, my health. So I'm just going to play more so defensive. Okay. Utilize our footwork. Notice how he isn't really pressing the issue. So, I mean, that's what personally what I want. Lee Hook lands at the end of the round. It's a good round. Definitely a good round. Okay. Here we go. Now, as we do more and more damage on the ground, it just makes it easy for us on the feet. We're going to get easy rocks. Our, our power is only, like, 86. So, we don't really do much damage. Got to be careful throwing kicks. Because if we do throw kicks, it opens up the opportunity for our opponent to throw punches. Okay. We get Vade. Throw a hook up top. Hook to the body. And if we can, if we get the opportunity to take this guy down, we'll definitely take it. Like if he overthrows. Or we evade a shot. Or we get like a rock. Nice uppercut to the body. That was nice evasion. And we're, we're evading some good shots. Two hooks. That goes the opportunity to shoot a takedown. Boom. He's already denying down, so we wasn't able to get it. Cool. Nice high kick. Okay. To the body and this is just basic i'm just doing basic things right i'm not forcing nothing i'm not throwing crazy combos i'm not even spamming cruise movement i'm doing none of that now we throwing hooks try to throw a high kick because he was blocking low go to his body nice and even still have we allowed cody garber to do what he's best at had to take advantage? Nope. We haven't. Cody Garbrandt's greatest strength is his boxing. He does rock us here, but that's fine. Okay. Health stats are still good. And this round is more so, I want to say a filler round because neither one of us has done too much. Okay, as I land a combination there, and then I go to his body. Goes a knee. He did get a rock, but didn't really do anything with it. We got a minute left in the round. Okay. Boom, boom, boom. There goes a rock. Okay. Boom. Now, there goes a huge... That right there was a really big swing. Um. So, think about it like this. Think about it like this. He got rocked. I landed a kick to his body, and he threw a, a few punches while he had obviously had lower stamina. Then he missed a front kick. We punished him, and then he just missed the overhand. So he just lost a whole, like, he could have done none of that and been just fine. He could have done none of that and been just fine, but unfortunately, he did it. <laughs> unfortunately, he did it, and uh, he just lost a whole lot of stamina. But, hey, I'm going to run a quick ad, guys, and if you get it, you get it, you don't, you don't. So here you go. All right. Here we go. Now we're going into round three. <sighs> Touch him up. And remember when our stamina was low? It was like, dang, we got low stamina. Well, we're good now. Now we're at the point where we can kind of box with Cody Garbrandt. We're not perfectly able to box with him, obviously, because he has better stats. But... It's not round one. His stamina isn't the best. His chin isn't the best. You see, we get the rock. Two to the chin. A punch at the end. Okay. Go to the body. Go to the body. Body up top. Body. And this is this is where the fight starts taking a turn for the best for me, but the worst for him. Because think about all those elbows I landed in round one. Push him back. Now, his greatest strengths aren't really, I wouldn't say they're not a strength, but 
they're not as I'm not as fearful of them because I know he can't trade. Now he has the wrist sitting in the pocket throwing punches with me while he has lower chin. His stamina probably isn't the best. It isn't terrible. I'm pretty sure his stamina is not terrible. Okay. But I guarantee his chin is not looking good. Okay. Now we got him just throwing stuff. Jab cross. Spinning back as he threw. We follow with the roundhouse to the body. Then we go back to the body. Boom, that's a rock to the body. We're going to make him walk back towards the cage so it opens up an opportunity to throw punches. To the body, to the body, jab, cross. And then he rocks me because I threw a kick. That was nice. He almost ate a three-piece, but he pulled up his block. Okay. Mistake he made again. Okay. Boop. Okay. Now, if you can see here, you do see our, our head health isn't looking the best. But when you're in situations like this, think about your opponent and how much you've done to them. So that should tell you, give you a general idea of where they are. As far as their head health and their uh, stamina. We rock them here. Go to the body. Go up top. We're going to go back to the body. Switch stances so we can land a roundhouse with the rear leg to the open side. We get the rock. Let the stamina recover. You can see our stamina ain't looking too good. But just ask ourselves, what does his, his look like? So we're not going to force anything. But the body to the body. And you can see he is now exhausted. We get the drop again. And he's probably just going to stay down on the ground. And that's going to be an end of round three. Oh, boy. And you guys can see, man, honestly, I hope you are learning a thing or two from this video. I'm not, I'm, the thing about most of my videos when I'm teaching you how to, I don't try to do anything crazy. I do the basics, and I do the basics really well. Even with someone as dynamic as Cruz, you can do the basics well. Obviously, the harder the opponent you're playing against as far as the player, it's going to make, you know, the task at hand more difficult. But all in all, bro, I'm telling you, man. I'm telling you. And you guys in those lower-ranked divisions, bro, you could really tear through these people. But you have to, one, calm down. Two, pay attention. And I'll probably, mm, we'll see. Here we go. We go round four. And notice, I'm not even wrestling no more. I'm not even wrestling no more. He tried to. He broke my block there. He broke my block there. He's gonna try to jump again. And this is the thing about Cody Garbrandt. This is why you don't count nobody out. And I'm glad this happened. And notice how I'm still calm. I'm still calm because I know that this dude still can't do nothing to me. That what what happened early on in this round? Chances that happening again are low because it's like think about it when you're tired. And, a, and next round starts, obviously you're going to be still tired, but you're going to be, you know, you're going to have maybe catch a second win or something. But his second win is gone. Notice how when the round started, he was walking normal. But boom, the round progressed. About, what, 45, 50 seconds into it, he's back being tired. And this is what you do. Even And this is something you do early on in the fight to make it easier for yourself. So you take lead head, head health damage. And then when you do take damage a little bit later, because you're, you know, being a little careless or you're trying to, trying to be stylish and you're making mistakes, can't be mad at that one. Can't be mad at that one. Can't be mad at that one. He ain't even got enough stamina to finish the fight. He didn't got enough stamina to finish the fight. So now, no. We can get up. Now we know what we know, that he's basically throwing home run strikes. Now we really pay attention to what he's doing. And again, this is Cruz. The easy way, and honestly, would be to just take this guy down. That would, the best case scenario right now would be to just take this guy down because he doesn't have any stamina to really even defend himself. He drops me again. Okay. Now, my head off is fucked. So because of that, I can't trade with him. Even though he's tired, he's still Cody Garbrandt. So now, I don't, I don't trade with him. 
Let him do what he do. If I do throw, I'm going to stop throwing once he starts. Okay, one, two. Now I got to play cautious because I made huge mistakes. But the thing is, he's still tired. That, that That's what, you know, the point. He's still tired. He's not even throwing. Notice how he's, he's barely throwing anything. He wants home runs. He wants home runs. Get the rock to the body. He's tired after throwing one punch. Back to the body. Okay. While I do want this to be, you know, I want to run through these guys. I am glad that you guys could see certain things like this. So you realize you, we all make mistakes. You know, within a fight, we all make mistakes. But making less mistakes is how you win more matches. Jab cross. It's probably the end of the match. Nope. Rock him again. And that's going to be the end of round four. Yeah. And the, the end of this fight is coming soon. I can tell you right now. If I wanted to end this fight, I would. But I'm just trying to, you know, progress and show you guys how you, how you do these ranked opponents, man. How you run through them and how you use Dominic Cruz. But here we go. Let's see. So how many times are we knocking down this fight? Two, then five. So oh, I said two, then five, because two and then three right here. So that's five, obviously. We got three rocks in that round, two to the body, three rocks in that round, one to the body, one rock on that round, one rock on that one. So this Dominic Cruz, I mean, this uh, Cody Garbrandt is ready to go. He's literally ready to go. We're, we're about to go ahead and put him out of his misery, man. We're going to go ahead and put him out of his misery. It's lagging a little bit. Okay. And now he's completely tired this round. I guarantee a home run strike is coming. He threw feints and got tired. <laughs> he threw feints and got tired. The home run shot is coming, so we're just going to wait on it, and then we're going to go ahead and knock him out. There it goes. There it goes. There it goes. I knew the, the home run, the, you know, the, the wish shot, you know, more so to say. It was coming. It was going to be a spinning heel. That was a front kick. I was thinking spinning heel, but I guess he... Knew it was over if he threw the spinning heel, but he threw the front kick. Was able to wave, pull back, throw the counter, flash KO. Hope you guys learned a thing or two from this one, man. Uh, that's going to be it. I'm not going to do any more fights. I'm going to cut it right there. We are going went against Cody Garbrandt. We showed wrestling early to make his chin weaker. And uh, just so you guys know, if you fight somebody like a TJ Dillashaw, which is a harder matchup, uh, Jose Aldo, which is a harder matchup, or... You fight um Jan, very hard matchups with those guys. You it's kind of like they those fighters, they're as good as you were ever on a fight in the fight. So you have to kind of utilize you know in game mechanics and what you setting people up and okay you take him down. You just gotta do better work than him. You gotta take him down. You gotta try to get the transition denied. You gotta actually do work instead of depending on fighter stats. If you get what I mean, like versus let's say versus Jan, he's a better boxer. Better kickboxer on the ground. He can run with you. So once he does go to the ground, it, it depends on the players and what they do versus, okay, I can outstat him on the ground or I can outstat him on the feet, right? Um, I'll, Let's think of another fighter. Uh, What did I say? Crew. Uh, the hardest matchup for Cruz is Aldo because Aldo can do everything. Aldo has very good takedown defense. And um, his low kicks, Aldo's low kicks really make it a problem for Cruz. So... Um, Aldo's a very tough matchup. I'm gonna tell you right now. If uh, I personally, if I want to be a Cruz, I go Aldo. I definitely go Aldo. And uh, when you do play Aldo, just watch out for the low kicks. If you can check him early, you'll be good. You'll be a one. But if you can't check his kicks early, man, he can just tear you apart. Especially for those guys out there that want to be stylish and used to low kicks. But hey, I ain't gonna keep talking to you guys' heads off. So just wanted to give you guys a quick little lesson at the end because I know you guys are gonna be like, well, who do you use if? Who do you use if? Or what do you do if? That's what you do, man. But, hey, I'm going to get up out of here. Y'all boys, stay up, stay blessed, keep moving forward, and I love you guys, man. Also, if you would like for me to teach you how to use a certain fighter, just let me know. I got you.